Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the highly requested three month post-op video. If you've not seen my last one then um, I will link it down below so you can go check that one out just for a little bit more information. But yeah, we're going to be talking about all things boob job and the process and how I'm feeling now and some more before and after photos. And if this is not something that you are interested in or something you don't necessarily agree with then this video is not for you and you know where that little cross is a fly has just entered the room so annoying let me let me help him escape so i can carry on okay so the fly has gone so we can carry on so i've just for the purpose of this video i put on a top where i'm not gonna get into trouble but you can see what's going on also i'm literally looking like a poodle right now i've just curled my hair and i don't want to brush it out just yet because i'm going to a barbecue i'm going to link all of my social medias down below for you to go on there the one video i put on tiktok which is like that sound everyone uses when they get a breast augmentation where it's like she don't like her titties, don't get her new boobs. I used that sound and it literally blew up and I only realised um, the other day how many comments it had. So I'm going to try and answer a few more of those. But yeah, it was this video. I don't know if I can... But yeah, it was this video. Oh my god. Jump scare. <laughs> it was this video. So I've obviously got my little cap on, my little hospital gown. Um. So yeah. There are lots of comments on this I'm going to try and answer in this video just so we can go a bit more in depth. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, I'm a little bit past three months now. I'm about three months, two, three weeks. Um, but I feel like now I'm at a point where I can really talk about the whole experience and how I'm feeling now. Follow my Instagram. You can probably tell by now that I am obsessed. It's definitely one of the best things I've done and... I don't regret doing it at all. So I am 21, but I do not regret getting them done at this age. I know a few more people do kind of say, wait a few years, wait till after kids, blah, blah, blah. But I want them now. Like, I want to enjoy them for as long as possible. And I will deal with any situations after kids that I have to deal with. But I have no plans on having kids just yet. So why not enjoy them now? And I think if you're in a position that you can get them done now and it's something you really, really want to do, then... I'm all for that and yeah, do whatever you want to do to make you happy. So many of the questions were about the shape and also the profile. You can obviously get high profile, low profile, moderate profile. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit. The one thing I will say is that in my mind, I did kind of want the more natural look. So I kind of went in thinking, oh, maybe I will opt for the teardrop one. Um, but because my before boobies were quite full at the bottom the surgeon that i had to talk to jacob recommended that i didn't go for the teardrop just because i already had that shape so adding on a teardrop implant as well would really you know accentuate the teardrop vibe so yeah because i already had a teardrop kind of shape to my natural boobs he did recommend to go for the round one just because the round one underneath and then my natural kind of tear drop will kind of make it an in-between and a really really nice shape which oh my gosh i'm so glad that i listened to him straight up because not to be biased but these are the best things i've ever seen and i am obsessed like they fit my size my shape and everything perfectly so yeah i opted for the 18th obviously that gave me a few weeks then to really look at before and after photos they also sent me the portfolio from my surgeon so I could look at all of his before and after photos and sort of see what stood out for me the most. Now obviously not everything you do see on Instagram is real so just keep that in mind when looking at photos on there which is why I found it really important to look at like the raw unedited versions of surgeons personal kind of before and after photos because then you really get to see the results. If you are with Laundrita or you've been speaking with them or any other company then just message them and get them to send you through like a portfolio with all of the photos. Um, I think they do that for all surgeries as well not just obviously breast augmentation. So another really popular comment was did you also get an uplift? Now this is actually a lot more common than I thought but no I didn't. I didn't need an uplift or like nipple i'm not even sure what it's called sorry don't quote me on this 
um, but obviously you can get like your nipples moved at the same time but again that completely depends on what you've got before mine were quite small so they were quite sort of lifted and perky anyway so I didn't need that um, and my nipples they're just fine you know everyone is different everyone loves different kind of results so they do kind of ask you everything just to make sure you're doing it all at once kind of thing another really popular question was how long did you stay in the hospital for so i actually stayed overnight but that was because i came out of my surgery like late kind of afternoon so by the time i'd really come round, had some food and all that it was literally like the middle of the night anyway so i stayed the night um i'm not sure if that's the normal procedure if obviously your surgery is really really early but just ask your surgeon but I think like most of the time they will keep you in overnight just to keep an eye on you so one thing I'm also going to say to you is that when I came round I was literally so hungry and I was craving chocolate chocolate cake anything chocolate I had such a sweet tooth when I woke up but they didn't actually have any in the hospital because it was the middle of the night so um it was difficult because my friend was obviously with me in the hospital but I didn't really want her to go out walking the streets on her own in like a place where we didn't really know just to find me chocolate because I would have felt awful if something happened but it was tempting. <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely recommend taking your favourite kind of snacks for the hospital because if you're anything like me, you will wake up and the first thing you will think of is food. When you wake up the next day, they kind of encourage you to go for a walk around the hospital, make sure you're working properly, you know, nothing's wrong and you're good to go. And then they kind of reassess, the surgeon comes back in, has a little look. Then he straps you back up and then you head back to your hotel, which they obviously sort themselves through the company. So your um, designated driver will come and pick you up and then take you back to the hotel, which I kind of just rested for two, two and a half days. Um, completely, literally was bed bound. I kind of was feeling sorry for myself a little bit and I was just in bed watching any animal program that came on on the TV. I kind of did struggle getting out of bed, I'm not gonna lie, but some people probably find that different. But obviously I went under the muscle and I know that can be a lot more painful because you don't realize how much you use your chest muscles until someone's trying to get you out of bed in the morning and you physically like can't strain your body up. Even like pushing down on your arms that moves your chest muscles so even that was a little bit difficult but they do give you really strong painkillers which you can take um and i obviously was getting paracetamol from like the local pharmacy as well and then by the third day um we were sort of exploring around the hotel a little bit more we did go to the gym i didn't go to the gym obviously but i went and supported my friend while she was at the gym um i went and just sat in like the pool area um the indoor pool obviously because it was a little bit cold and then that has like the, f the like the full glass door so i could just wave at my friend in the gym give her a bit of more support that's another question people have been asking about going to the gym after saying kind of how long do you have to take from the gym now i went through a stage last year when i was really dedicated to the gym however i've not been back to the gym once this year and i don't plan on changing that just yet i've just now started horse riding again which is really exciting so yeah i'm doing that but going to the gym is not something i really i know i should make time for it but it's just not maybe next year will be a good time to start but if you're dedicated to the gym i think they kind of say like definitely 12 weeks um before you're sort of full-on doing all the motions again so yeah that's all i can really say on that because i've personally not quite made it back to the gym so the next comment is has it made you a lot more confident now i think because it's something that i had in my mind for so long now i've got it i'm just like i feel like i've always had it kind of thing and it feels great especially when you go on holiday and you're in bikinis so you're in things that kind of give you less support but you're still feeling like you look like you've got like a really good bra on um that for me is amazing like to feel like i don't have to keep doing the boob trick if you know you know um like to feel like you don't keep having to do that because they just sit there in place looking pretty all day that for me is 
so worth it and was so worth the whole experience um all those years of research and everything like that because it just feels good and because it was something i wanted done for so long it's just yeah i just i can't even explain the feeling of even just waking up in the morning and having boobs it's just Another question was when did you go back into wearing a bra so i actually was so excited to go bra shopping i think i went like three or four weeks after i got my breast augmentation obviously fully aware that i haven't been properly sized yet i still haven't been properly sized um and i couldn't wear them because i think you're meant to wait a few months to wear like a proper underwired bra um so i have started wearing them now um, but I do definitely need to go get measured because another question was like what size are you now? So I still cannot comment on that because it's still something I'm too lazy to go get done. It's something I definitely need to do over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, the people that have asked that on my DMs, as soon as I know, I will let you know because because you want to know, I guess. So this lovely lady here said that her doctor recommended her 300 cc's but they can't add more because it's too big for her current size and she said but it looks great on you what size what was your size before so before i was like a 32 c or b depending on the time of the month um but again it's so difficult because obviously it does depend on the width of your chest obviously i'm really quite narrow i'm only five foot one five foot two so i am really small so keep that in mind but then again trust your surgeon honestly if they're saying that's the maximum size they can go because if you're getting implants that are too big um and they're kind of touching you can end up with the look of like a uni boob um which probably you know you're not paying money for that so i would definitely recommend listening to them if i'm completely honest with you um just speak to him about like your size and you know say is it going to get the results that i want in this photo but yeah if he's saying that that's definitely the biggest size that, that they're happy to go then you know that you've just kind of got to go with that that's exactly what happened to me and yeah i mean i don't think he would have operated if i was like no i definitely want 400 cc he would have been like i'm not doing it because it's not safe um which is how you also know that it's a really good surgeon. So yeah, all round, I am really happy with mine. And if there are any other questions, then just leave them below this video and I will literally answer them back to you guys as soon as possible. Again, I will leave the um, page on the screen to where I went to and then my surgeon, I will leave all links below because so many guys, so many of you guys have been asking me about that. But thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you soon with another video.